friends, you want to look down where it says $43.86. And we're going to start from right here, okay? This is basically showing my route from yesterday. The first thing to note is Menifee is where I picked up the passenger and Boynup Park is where I dropped off the passenger, okay? It was at 7.36 in the morning and we made $43. That's the first thing I'm gonna talk to you about. 58 miles, hour and a half long, and the only point of this ride was to position me in Los Angeles and get me out of Menifee. At 7.30 in the morning, if I turn the app on and it's giving me $43, I'm gonna take it, okay? Now we're done. We don't need to talk about this one. Let's move on to the next one. We're looking at $18, all right? At 11.19, that means if I picked up the last passenger at 7.30, dropped her off, that's 8.39. So basically from 9 to 11, or let's say 11.19, that's almost two hours I didn't receive anything. But that is okay, right? At John Wayne Airport, I got a $18 ride. Why? Question is why? Because it was slow and um, John Wayne Airport wasn't giving me anything, beggars can't be choosers. After waiting for two hours and 19 minutes, maybe it's two and a half hours, I said, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to take an $18 ride. I'm going to go 15 miles. It's towards, um, it's towards Disneyland. Maybe I can score something. Let's go because we've waited long enough. I'm not going to wait for Uber for anything else because nothing bigger is coming, right? And I wanted to make sure I can get back to John Wayne Airport, okay? So look at the details. John Wayne Airport is where I started. Anaheim near Disneyland is where I dropped off. It was a comfort ride for $18. And this passenger was interesting. He was talking to me about his hardships and he was talking to me about his Mercedes and the car getting all messed up, okay? Let me clean the slate. And we're gonna go down to the third passenger. Okay, we are down here. This is an interesting ride at 12.18. That means after I dropped off the last passenger and I took that ride, within 10-15 minutes, I was able to get this passenger and she gave me a $10 tip. But look at the details. I started in Santa Ana. I was on my way to John Wayne Airport. While I was on my way to John Wayne Airport, I got a $23 ride to go to Los Angeles, downtown Los Angeles. And you know I'm smiling here. I will take $23 to go from Orange County to Los Angeles at 12 o'clock anytime, even if there's a little bit of traffic. Now, the cool thing is I made a video about this talking about entitled women because that girl made me wait 10, 15 minutes to pick up a package. First of all, it was an Uber ride with a person and they gave me a package. Fine, no problem. Once I dropped off the package, I had to walk into a store, then I had to talk to the parking guy, then I had to get out, call her, text her, call her. And then she did give me $10. So it went from $23 to $25. Somehow the price increased. And then I got a $10 tip, ended up being $35. Now you know the details on that ride, okay? We're gonna mark this off. Let's go to the fourth passenger. Now I am in Los Angeles, right? It's 1.46 p.m. I pick up somebody for $20. We're right over here if you're paying attention, okay? Now 20 miles for $20. The pickup is Los Angeles, a drop off is LAX. Now think about that. And then let me tell you what happened. This was a young Hispanic kid that came down from San Francisco because he wants to get out of the city. It's really bad and he was looking for work and he was here for an interview. The whole time we talked and I was encouraging him, right? So literally where I dropped off the last passenger, very close by, I got another person for $20 to take him back to LAX. This is a win-win for me, right? Look, Los Angeles, where I dropped off the last passenger, dropping off this guy to LAX for 20 bucks. Any day I'll do this for 20 bucks, $15, no problem, because I'm gonna go to LAX anyways, right? Let's mark this off and let's go to the next person. I think I'm at the fifth, fifth passenger now. Fifth passenger is, what is the time? The time is showing 129, that means this is a rematch. I dropped off the passenger. I left everything on. I got the next passenger and I remember him also. So this is Skyway basically means right here, LAX. Drop off is Santa Monica. That is fine. To go 11 miles to make $27 in 27 minutes. This is a win-win and notice the tip. There's a tip here and look at the time. 
2.29 p.m. This is three rides back to back that is giving me money. 35, 20, that's 50, or 55 plus 27, 65, 75, whatever, right? The numbers are very good. That's bang, 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 right? Now, when I'm in Santa Monica, I'm gonna wait a little bit and relax because I've taken three passengers in a row. Let's clear the slate and go down. Now, at some point, I'm gonna lose the count, right? So, but understand, I'm going one ride at a time. Right now, we're down here. It is showing 3.36 p.m. And I picked up a lady that came from Italy on a comfort ride that took a long time. Look at that, 44 minutes to go six miles. But, but, but pay attention, I got paid $13, I know it shows 16 because of the tip, right? But I got paid $13 to take this woman from Santa Monica, who is a visitor, and to drop her off near Playa del Rey, which basically puts me near LAX. You already know I took somebody for 20 bucks earlier. I took this person for $16 because in traffic, no matter what, I'm still driving that way. I'm still going to go that way. So to get paid 15 or $16 to sit in traffic and to have a conversation with a beautiful Italian woman, come on, a single guy is going to love that. And the fact that she gave me a $3 tip means there's something that I did to inspire her to give me a tip because, I trust me, she didn't have a lot of money. She actually dropped her phone and was panicking, right? Great conversation, okay? Let's erase this and move on to the next one. After I dropped her off, as you can see, we're back at Skyway, and I picked up a $35 ride, and there was a huge gap. Look, 6.51 p.m. Now, this is my first pro tip um, of this video, okay? I got to uh, LAX around 4.30, okay? And I waited, and I waited, and I waited in the queue to be in position at 7 o'clock to get this passenger. Now, pay attention. That is two and a half hours I waited. I worked on my channel. I relaxed. I went to the bathroom. I recorded more videos. And then I got this Indian guy who's not going to give me a tip who farted in my car twice. The second time I had to lower the window to let him know, bro, that's not cool, right? And his name is Krishna, by the way. That's how I know he's Indian because that's not a Pakistani name. All right, I'm going to stop going off on him. Let's look at the details together. 25 miles to go $35 to go 43 minutes. This is a win, a win, a win. Why? Because when I drop him off, I'm going to be in position to be at San Antonio or in San Antonio or sorry, in Santa Ana, which is basically John Wayne Airport, right? And I'm close to Long Beach Airport. I can decide which way to go, but check out what happens. We are down here now. Wait. Okay. Right away. Right away. I turned the app on and I got a $40 ride to bring a Chinese guy who ordered an Uber Excel. Single passenger. One bag because he wanted comfort. He didn't want to pay for black. He was working on his um, laptop and he was talking to his assistant. Like This guy was hustling, man. $40 to take him back to LAX. Pay attention, my friends. Look, I dropped the last person in Cerritos, and I was ready to go home. But when I got $40 to go back to LAX, and I said, hey, maybe I can get a rematch right back at LAX. Let's do it. Let's do this. I'm not tired. I drank my coffee. I'm ready to go. So look at that. LAX, Artesia to LAX for $40. Uber Excel, 44 minutes. This is back to back. $35, $40. Do the math. 40 50 60 70 That's $75 right? $75 back to back in two passengers, right? But it gets better. Look, I got rematched at LAX to bring an African American woman to Costa Mesa. So, so pay attention. I went from LAX to Cerritos, Cerritos back to LAX, LAX back to um, Costa Mesa. That's three boomerang trips. Back to back, back to back, back to back, right? Now, let me go back so I can show you all three of these because it's important to look at these three together, okay? Let's let's study this. 650, 750, 844, right? So let's just say 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock. That's in two hours, maybe three hours of driving, I made... I got to do 75 plus... $125 roughly, right? But look, this is a triple shot. Leaving LAX, going to Cerritos, coming back, taking another person, meaning 
I was at the right time, at the right place, with the right patience to get these three passengers, right? And this doesn't happen all the time. It happened on Monday because the supply and demand was there, right? Look at that. LAX back. And now I got tired, right? But look at what I did after this. You're going to love this because this is the last passenger I have, right? We're going to end it with this. Then I used my destination mode to get a $25 ride at 9 o'clock, right? This is, again, me taking a little break from Costa Mesa where I dropped off the last passenger, right? Look, Costa Mesa, using my destination mode to drop somebody in Anaheim, right? There were a bunch of Indian people that were drinking and having a great time. I listened to them. I laughed with them. I was quiet, and they gave me a $5 tip. This is $25 to go home using the destination mode. Then Uber got rid of my destination mode, and I said, you know what? Let's go. It's okay. Then I used my second destination mode. That's your second pro tip. I used my second destination mode to go home, and on the second destination mode, Uber offer offered me a $38 ride to take somebody 70 miles, and I said, hell no. I'm tired. I've been driving for 14 hours, even though I'm only allowed to drive for 12 hours, right? And I said, you know what? I'm not going to put up with this. Uh, this is wrong, and I let some other Uber driver take it because I'm too tired. I don't want to risk taking a passenger towards my house. Or Actually, it was going to be past my house. I was going to take somebody, drop them off in Fallbrook, and from Fallbrook back to Menifee was going to be another 20 minutes, and I'm tired. I want to go home. I want to eat. And this is why I started late Tuesday morning, right? Because I got home almost at midnight, then I ate, then I went to sleep. Then I got up at 6 in the morning, and I missed the morning rush this morning. But guess what? This is my second video I made for you today, right? So let me zoom out. And this is basically what I showed you right now. My whole day from yesterday, right? All the way down. And let me show you the D final details for this. I basically ended up making, as you can see, $310. I showed you step by step my route, step by step where I went. I was active for nine hours. This is very good, right? This is the most I've ever been active on Uber in, in one day. But I don't understand the 14 hours over here. By law, we're only supposed to be driving 12 hours. I don't know why Uber does that. I don't know how they do it, but I'm not gonna complain, right? And yes, I got $26 in tips, plus I got $25 going home at night. At night. So that basically means that $26 in tips and that final ride at night for $25, I was able to basically pay for gas. Let me show you one more thing. This is the whole queue. This is everything that I showed you right now. Bottom up, right? From here all the way to the top is what I talked about in this video. Now look, I'm just going to ask you for one simple thing. This video is for only people that follow me on YouTube that want to learn how to drive Uber in California. But if you found some information in this that helps you in your market, maybe there's something here that helps you. And if it doesn't help you, it's okay. Let me know in the comments, how can I help you? Look, I'm making videos about content creation. I'm making videos about spirituality. And I'm making videos about Uber and my style of, of driving. And I'm not leaving anything behind, right? My goal is this, help you make money. Then you follow me. Then I grow as a content creator. I stop driving Uber and then I teach you all the other stuff, right? And look, in the background, we're going to end this video now. I'm literally sitting here waiting for Uber and the queue hasn't moved because I know around 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock is where it's going to push up, right? Now look, there's 30 to 40 people waiting, 26 to 30 people waiting, 6 to 10, 10 people waiting, but we're all here for this. And I've been here since 9 o'clock. I've already made two YouTube videos and I'm going to post this one. And the reason why I couldn't post a, a video earlier is because I was exporting another video in the background. Look, that's 66% done. <laughs> Right. So now this video is being recorded. That video is going to finish exporting and get uploaded. And then I'm going to uh, clean this one up and upload it to you. God bless you. Have a beautiful day and understand you're waiting here for Uber to give you a ride. There's no reason why you shouldn't have a plan B and you shouldn't be working on your podcast, on your blog, on your content creation or basically don't be watching Netflix. Don't be TikToking. But watch my YouTube channel. Uh oh, what's going on? We're going to end the video on this, all right? No, my friend. No. That's a negative. No. No, 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 no. No, no. No, my friend. No.
No. <laughs> Mr. Uber, nobody is going for $7 and leaving an entire airport. I will make another video. God bless you. Have a beautiful day.